I have the differential equation y prime prime minus 3 y prime plus 2y is equal to t times u of t uh, where uh, u of t is defined as 1 if t is greater than 0 and 0 elsewhere and I have the initial conditions y of 0 is equal to 1 and y prime of 0 is equal to 0 I want to solve this differential equation using the Laplace transform um, so if I take the Laplace transform of both sides I get s squared times capital Y of S minus S times Y of 0 minus Y prime of 0 um, uh, so that is my uh, uh, Y prime prime minus 3 times Y prime so Y prime is S times capital Y of S minus Y of 0 so you have minus 3 Y prime so minus 3 times in parentheses S times capital Y minus Y of 0 capital closed uh, a parenthesis closed um, plus 2 times capital Y is equal to the Laplace transform of T times U of T. And so we, um, the Laplace transform of T times U of T, remember we said that U of T is 1 if T is greater than 0 and 0 elsewhere. Uh, so we take the integral from 0 to infinity of T times 1 times T to the minus ST dt. Okay, so that is the part of the Laplace transform. Um, the fact in in fact, the fact that it is zero answer doesn't really matter because we go we take the integral from zero to infinity, and so we don't really care that at zero it is zero because uh, remember that you start from zero or just after zero in the integral doesn't really matter. So yes, you have the integral from zero to infinity of t times one, so this one here times t to the minus st dt, and uh, so if you compute it, you get one over s squared. And uh, so uh, I can plug in my initial conditions also and I uh, can rearrange a bit. I get that capital Y of S times uh, S squared minus S minus 3 times S times capital Y of S plus 3 plus 2 times capital Y of S is equal to 1 over S squared. And so I get capital Y of S times in uh, parenthesis S squared minus 3S plus 2 minus S plus 3 is equal to 1 over S squared. And so I get capital Y of S is equal to 1 over S squared times in parentheses S squared minus 3S plus 2 uh, plus S over S squared plus min minus 3S plus 2 uh, minus, three uh, minus 3 over uh, S squared plus minus 3S plus 2. And so I can do a partial fraction decomposition for this part here, for this part here, and this part here. So for the first part here, um, um, I can write 1 over s squared times s squared minus 3s plus 2 as a over s plus b over s squared plus c over s minus 2 plus d over s minus 1 uh, because I can factor this s squared minus 3s plus 2 as s minus 2 times s minus 1. So uh, I get a is equal to 3 over 4, b is equal to 1 over 2, c is equal to 1 over 4 and d is equal to minus one. Um, for the second part, this s over s squared minus 3s plus 2, uh, I can write it as a over s minus 2 plus b over s minus 1, and so I get that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1 if I do the partial fraction decomposition. And for the third part, so minus 3 over s squared minus 3s plus 2, this s squared minus 3s plus 2, I can write it as s minus 2 times s minus 1, I said, and so I can rewrite the whole thing as a over s minus 2 plus b over s minus 1, and so I get that a is equal to 1 and that b is equal to negative 1. And so now I can, um, yes, I, I so I, I can, if I want to rewrite it, like I have 3 quarter of 1 over s plus a half of 1 over s squared, uh, plus a quarter of 1 over s minus 2 uh, minus 1 or times 1 over s minus 1 uh, uh, plus 2 times 1 over s minus 2 minus 1 times 1 over s minus 1 um, plus 1 times 1 over s minus 2 minus 1 times 1 over s minus 1, so here. 
Okay, so if I take the inverse Laplace transform of everything, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s is simply 1, so I will get 3 quarter, so 3 over 4. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared is simply t, so 1 half of that is 1 half of t. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 2 is e to the 2t, uh, a quarter of that is simply a quarter of this e to the 2t. And uh, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 is e to the t, so minus 1 times that is minus e to the t. Uh, uh, the inverse Laplace transform of e to the s uh, of 1 over s minus 2 is as here uh, e to the 2t, and I have a 2 in front, so I have 2 times that. Uh, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 is a set again e to the t, I have a minus in front, so I have minus. Um, again, here I have 1 over s minus 2, so the inverse Laplace transform is e to the t, uh, is e to the 2t. Uh, why is there a 3 here? Uh, wait, why? I, mm, uh, uh, why do I have a 3 here? Uh, Uh, just looking at my notes, if I did something wrong. Ah, yeah, sorry. Uh, yes, because I have a minus 3 here at the top. So I have the, the 1 of the a and the minus 1 of the b here, but I have the minus 3 here. So of course I have the minus 3 times this a and the minus 3 times this b. So it comes from here, this uh, here. Sorry, if you can... Uh, I don't think you can uh, read it anymore. Uh, yes, this minus 3. So I have minus 3 times e to the 2t plus 3 times e to the t. Okay, it comes from here. Uh, yes. And uh, so I have this whole business here, and I can uh, rewrite it as 3 over 4 plus 1 half of t minus 3 over 4 times e to the 2t plus e to the t. If I uh, combine some terms. Yes. 